Much like Captain Scott's Terra Nova expedition over 100 years ago, we'll be recording weather readings as we travel from the coast of Antarctica to the South Pole and back again. We'll be logging the temperature, wind speed, air pressure and humidity and storing each day's weather data on our ultrabooks. Photography and video will also make up a large part of how we document the journey. In Captain Scott's time, the photographer attached to the expedition was key in telling the story to the people back home. Back then, rolls of film would have to be manhauled along with their food and fuel. And a dark room was one of the key parts of the wooden hut that Scott's team built at Cape Evans. Nowadays, we use digital cameras and entirely solid state digital media. This saves us a huge amount of weight. And by using a satellite phone and compression software on our ultrabooks, we'll be able to send back photos and video directly from the ice. Photography in polar regions is still a challenging task though, and we'll keep our cameras in airtight bags inside our jackets to keep them warm. As well as the equipment, you also have to take care of yourself, particularly your hands. Operating cameras and switching lenses means you occasionally have to pull your hands out of your mittens, so filming can be quite physically challenging in the cold. Captain Scott was a pioneer and used state-of-the-art gear, equipment and technology. Our expedition is no different and we've been pushing the boundaries of how polar expeditions can be documented 